Hello, this is the Snorky Raccoon here with Coffee Holic, and welcome back to my Amnesia Let's Play. Oh god, I don't want to do this. You sound so enthusiastic, you have no idea. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so we take close this behind me just for a bit right there. So I have no lamp oil. I have acid. It's melting. Melted. Ouch. Fucker. <laughs> so, uh, I did say you should Fuck. have... I, I did say you should be more careful with your oil, but you know, whatever. You'll make do without it. I have to. Hopefully I'll find some. Well, there's a lot of oil at convenient locations for the castle, so yeah. It sure is dark in here. Story bits. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamps. I'm just gonna sit through this. Wish. What's the reason for the darkness? That is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. God damn it, Daniel, why can't you just die? <laughs> well, he can, you just have to find a monster. It's gonna oh, look, rose easy. petals. This must be where I serenaded my bride. Future bride. <laughs> Woman I kidnapped. <laughs> uh, but, but which one? Hundreds of people have been kidnapped. Uh, the one that I serenaded. Uh, you can also run out of tinder boxes. Just saying. I know. I'm really just. I'm trying to get my nerves. Yeah. Don't worry, the scars will grow on you like a bad tumor. Can I just, you know, steal one of these lamps? They seem to be a lot better. But they don't run on oil. Ah, oh, yes. Oil. Be careful Be when. Be careful when. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> At least the game is nice to you with those tooltips, isn't it? To imagine that as soon as I see the monster, I'm quitting this. Because I am, I don't think my heart can yeah. take <laughs> Your heart can't take much more, is that what you were about to say? But I crouch, I crouch to become less visible. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. We should pick up next time. I can't do no, this, no, not no. twice, not, tw not two recording sessions. And... Okay, move along. It's gonna patrol in here at random, so just move along. I know you like me. I'll tell you what I like about you. I like the way that you're going to be dead if this goes on. If anyone's going to die, it's going to be you of a heart attack. Where, who, why, what? I can't keep this up. I can't. You are you are sanity is getting low, so you will start hallucinating too pretty soon. So. Fucking fuck. Oh, fucking candle. Fucking it's your new best friend. <sighs> candle. Candle, please restore my sanity slowly. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. 
Where are the flies everywhere? <laughs> oh, this must be me. I'm even standing in me. So, since we are around a campfire, or well, camp, do we have any campfire stories? Any horror stories you'd like to share with the audience? Hmm. Well, there was that one time with the du oh, I'm not allowed to talk about that. Confidentiality and all. <laughs> what about that one time where you were scared shitless by a video game? Can you tell us about that? Uh, you mean every time? <sighs> Fucking hell, oil! <laughs> that was some victory screech. Also, be more c uh, careful with your oil. What are you doing? Protect me. You just made a loud noise. They'll protect me, don't worry. Besides, I have this lovely corner with this tinderbox. Mr. Tinderbox accepts me and loves me. The monster also wants to give you a sweet embrace. I don't want a sweet embrace, thank you very much. Technically, I should be safe here. Technically, not really. They can smash the barrels, I think. I don't think so. Not if I hold one here, too. Ah, uh, yeah, well, that that's a glitch. You're not allowed to abuse that. <laughs> I'm not. Nope. I'm not sure if they fixed that, actually. Maybe they have. If you keep closing the doors behind you, will you have nowhere to run? I can open them. Or I'll die, I don't know. No. No means no. 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Something, something, or. Looks like dogs. I hate dogs. I don't hate them, but I don't like them. <laughs> and he's currently being scared by the game, so he says things he doesn't really mean. <sighs> that scared me, I thought the thought I thought something snuck up on me. Take this. I can't take this. <laughs> so in the game, in the game, head is pounding and hands and shaking. In real life, head is pounding and hands are shaking as well. The game knows you. <laughs> it's because I am Daniel. Yeah. Oh, a coin. Fucking empty. Oh, I cheated. You want some cork in it? Well, yes. Daniel was here a few moments ago, so that's maybe why they're empty. Let's look from the other side. I really don't think I can take this any longer. I have, I have this funny idea you'll say that until you finish this entire playthrough. Also, at least you don't have to play it alone, that would make this a lot scarier, even though I'm not really being nice to you. I don't think I can ever play this alone, just so you know. 
That means they get to make fun of you. Every time I light one of those candles, I feel that I'm taking away somewhere to hide. Yeah, you are. The monsters can see you in the light. However, you need the light to stay sane. It's a risk okay, versus reward kind of thing. I can look. I can look at the candle, and then when the monster comes in, I can turn around. Technically speaking, the room I'm is not in the light. The room is still well lit. I can just imagine the monster walking in, going, Hello! I can just imagine him leaning like that and then suddenly tumbling over because he lost balance. Look at your sanity. That's what happened. Am I gonna die now? No, no, but uh, if you do that near a monster, the monster's gonna find you. Fucking hell. So you have to restore your sanity pretty soon, either by making progress or staring at light. Let's try to candle for a few hours. Okay. There's a note there. One second. Oh, you give, you're giving yourself an escape route. Or mm, even better. Okay, let's check here. Um, how does Pound sound? I don't think it's gonna get any better than that. Into the darkness! It's 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Something otherworldly is going on. I hate otherworldly crap. Well, the otherworldly things are trying to kill you, so you are. This, like, is uh, not without warrant. Also, the shadow was pulsating next to you, like, what up? <laughs> Here to kill you. What up? <laughs> He's just happy to be here. <laughs> I can't actually harm you that much, yo. Blub. Okay, where do I go? Uh, remember that the order was blocked? Mm -hmm. Go back there. I 
think, if I remember correctly, that's the first room you have to be in. The room I have can to also be say in hello for to what? Uh, progress. And you can say hello to Mr. Candle on the way. Also, you're almost out of oil. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mr. Candle. My friend Mr. Booze here is going to help ease my pain. Would you like to <laughs> join me? Well, yeah. there is a chair right there, so you can just sit. I sit here. And we wait. And when the monsters eventually kill us, we all die knowing Mr. Candle had a great time. It's not right, Mr. Candle. Mr. Candle will die eventually, though, once he runs out of wax. But don't we all die eventually once we run out of wax? Don't we all? What? <laughs> what? Nothing? It's a monster! <laughs> I'm still waiting for it. I know it's coming. So, I think it's somewhere around it's here. It's blocked from the other side. Yeah, but I think it's in this room. The puzzle can be solved. I may be remembering wrong, but I think it's in here somewhere. Okay. That's lit. Okay, so it's a puzzle? It is, it is a puzzle horror game. Now, yeah, we're talking about those puzzles. Are we talking about those well, that's, puzzles? that's how they, um, they pad the time between the different scares, adding puzzles. Hold on. I suck at puzzles. Yeah, and now you're gonna do them. Well, you know what this means. So I'll play, uh, this let's play is basically fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, I honestly don't know what I'm doing at this point. Just and uh, I'm scared as all hell. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself, try taking a look around. The door's blocked from the other side, so try taking a look close to it. See if there's anything you can find out. You guys. Oh, that's a, that's a tin box. Tin the box. Found it. See, that wasn't so hard. See, you're making progress. That was easy. <laughs> he says that's he I has. have. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, that was easy. Are you afraid? Please say I'm on scare tactics, please. <sighs> Your the lantern is fully refilled. Take That's a look at it and bask in take a look at it and bask in the glory of a full look lantern. Look at all that oil. I want that oil all over me. Wait. No, I think I wanted my lantern. <laughs> That's your best friend. I think this might be my best friend. The hatch is too heavy to lift by hand. Oh, fucking hell. What? That is obvious. From a. Oh, God. Monster's gonna burst in through there. around first. <laughs> I know gameplay design at least well enough to know that. Don't worry, it's not a monster. Right, it's a funster, wait. <laughs> it's it's a clan running after you going giggity giggity goo. Ah yeah. Come here, yeah, so I can probably use some monster clan loving. 
You should probably light some candles instead of burning through all your oil. Yes, sir. Are there even any candles near here? Well, there is a... a look to your... Yeah. Torch. That's not a candle, that's a torch, but you know. Fire is fire. And fire burns hot. We can burn the monsters, maybe. Uh, that, that's, um, if it can ease your worries, that that's not a monster breakthrough, that's just a reason the door is blocked from the other side, the barrels went away. Someone barricaded oh. themselves in here. That's what it was all about. So then the monsters are coming from down below, gotcha. <laughs> you shouldn't open the door, there's a monster patrolling out there. Oh, Ned there is? I didn't even see it. Well, you saw it as soon as you entered the area. But I didn't see it after that. It's drunk. Something clocking the crank and pull a contraption. Opening to open it up. Uh, how about some uh, laudanum? I don't know what I have. Uh, laudan laudanum? Laud fat. Health dealy. <laughs> okay. I know exactly what this is. This is an Estes flask. But it's not yellow. On the inside of this. Try taking a look, a look at the crank and pulley. I can take a look at it. At the contraption. Try taking a look at the entire thing. That's not it, that's just the uh, wheel. Oh. Nitwit. That would explain things. Nitwit. Throw a rug at it. Really? Or a box. Either way works. Remember, the solution is always nope. the solution is always violence. Ah, so that's this type of game. There we are. Lovely. It actually has angular mechanics, and that's really hard to pull off. <laughs> Is it open? Try or? taking a look. It's open. It's down there. Oh. Do I jump? If you go down, there's no way up. Oh, you know what that means? Drone around. So it's screaming at me. Hey, bro. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> is you this are the area I think? Positively red today. Is this the area I think it is? Because then this will be fun. Oh god, I hate that from you. This will be fun. You know what? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> How long will this area take, do you think? If you were to guess. Um, only one way to find out, go in. We've already Remember been doing that this for 25 minutes. You spend a, quite a bit of that time staring at a candle. I spent three minutes staring at the candle, thank you. Go in. Always have to have your way, don't you? Go in, go get yourself killed, jump off the bridge. <laughs> All your friends you haven't are doing died yet. Look, it's Could a pleasant area. Look, there's lights everywhere. Is this the water area? <laughs> this is the fucking water area. <laughs> no way in hell am I going through this right now. No way in hell. You can pay me enough. Right now, to go through there, my heart on will pause, actually explode. Forth. Huh? On pause, go forth. On pause, go forth. Nuh-uh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna give it one try. One try only, then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's a bad idea to stay in the water, just... Oh 
obviously. There you we are, the bouncing ball. Huh? You cannot look directly at it because it's gonna drain your sanity and then you'll fall over. I don't think there's anything directly there to look at. This thing? There's someone. Are we fucked? You know, I, I, I really shouldn't have told you that the model is a bouncing ball. They kind of ruined the scary effect. Isn't it? I don't exist. I don't exist. You do not see me. Is it right in front of me? It's in the water. You kind of have to run from box to box. Mad sprinting. And do I have to go that way or do I go in there or do I... There's a lever in there. Lever must open something. I don't know, maybe it'll drain the water out. <laughs> you boss. Positive thinking! <laughs> okay, let's just give this one go. Then I'm gonna end this, okay? Huh? Holding the shift button. Ah, see, we're right in front of me. Asshole. And just wants a here. bite of your feet. I don't think it just wants a bite, I think it wants the whole thing. <laughs> See, it's not that scary. Fuck you, Mr. Bouncing Ball. People read too much in this game. Rage too much? Read too much. Ah, well. Do you have the noises? It is the early days. Ah. The noises. It, it, it probably doesn't have eyes on it, it just follows noises. Let's see. And you are one noisy scared girl, so it attempts to follow you along. I hear the sound. Medieval engine. What do I want the monster to be? It's already over there. Okay. Uh, should I take a book with me for the rope? Nah. Is this gonna go on forever? I I don't know if this is on a, based on a timer. It sounds like it is. Oh yeah, it was. Okay, then you have to move it up, and then you have to run. Oh, it's an up level, not a down level at all, there. Run. Run. Fucking hell. Run! Have sex with that book. The book is very erotic. Trust me. You will love it. Sexually. <gasps> It's not the right way. No, you have to go back. Oh god, there's music playing now. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. How much oil do we have left? Oh, we have a good amount of oil, I can waste some. We have two fats. Is that It'll a skull over there? That is John Eric, and he wants you to respect him. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hello, you want to do me a really big favor. You want to do me a really big favor. That wasn't a really big favor. <laughs> so you're going to do me a... Oh, what's this here? Ooh, water water, Mongo Gum. Really dealing. Estus Flask. And this is my skull lantern. And this is a pinwheel skeleton. Dearly, dearly. 
Uh, you're gonna have to do a mad dash to get back, just, just saying. You can distract it with a book first, but you don't have a book in your general area right now. Can I throw one of my health dealers at it? No. Why is this flooded? Why is that such an asshole? Because the place is what poorly insulated. We established that in the first episode. Oh, fuck! I'm dead. Keep out, Keep of, the out of the water. <laughs> yes, sir. Right away. <laughs> so, I guess that's it for this episode? Yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, until next time, this has been the Snarky Raccoon here with Coffee Holic, and we will see you next time. Assuming I can muster up the courage to actually play this game again. Don't worry, I'll force him. I hate you. <laughs> I know.